Jack, it seems, and, and what I've seen in my experience, it's really important when you're working with an investor to, to know what all the, the uh, potentials are for a particular property and timberland in general. It's not just um, pulpwood and chip and saw. There's a lot more to it, and there's, there's a lot more potential for revenue and for um, uh, benefits you can derive from the land than just the trees themselves. A lot of investors realize that and they come to us with that in mind. Some of them don't. They have to be educated about all the different aspects of what's important revenue-wise and then other benefits they might get from the property, such as recreation. What was a typical investor that you work with here in Central Florida look like? What, it, what are their goals? What are their desires? What are, they, what are they shooting for? Well, our typical Timberland investor probably comes from Tampa. Um, high net worth individual, could be a football player or a baseball player or, or just a very successful businessman, uh, probably middle-aged or later in, in their life and wanting to enjoy life a little bit more than they do living in Tampa and having their property. We have a lot of uh, city people uh, buying timberland a little bit north of Tampa, Pasco County, you know, Hernando, those kinds of places. And then uh, hopefully allowing us with our expertise or, or some professional to help them decide how they're going to manage their property. Uh, you, you do it in North Florida a little bit more than we do down here, but you have to take these tracks and tailor your management to the market conditions that you're experiencing. Down here, we're 100 miles from the nearest paper mill, so we do not sell much pulp wood. Uh, but we do sell a lot of our smaller diameter wood to mulch plants. Well, the mulch industry is pretty big down here, and we get very good prices for mulch. Uh, we don't have the sawmills that you have up in North Florida, but we uh, recently have developed a really good market down here for poles. And as you can tell with a track like this, we're really trying to manage for straight uh, timber that, that meets the specifications for the pole market. And uh, when we do that and we hit, hit it right, uh, our revenue that we generate from our timber up here rivals the revenue you get from uh, the, the really high market area in North Florida where you are closer to to the market. So yeah. that's that's what we have. Yeah, and, and similarly, or, or, or by contrast, in North Florida, a lot of our investors there are more looking at timber return on timberland investment, on the what the trees themselves and the products that they're going to grow. And um, now we do see a lot of the investors um, coming from Central and South Florida that are looking for a combination timberland recreation track where the recreation component of that, of that is, is really important. Those properties seem to be on the smaller of the several hundred acre scale. Uh, when you get a much above that into the several thousand acre scale, then you're looking at um, mostly pure timberland investors. And, and, and a lot of those, it, it, the very bottom line is what is gonna be my return on investment from the revenue that I can generate growing timber and selling other products, pine straw, hunting lease income, and those kinds of things. So we get a wide range up there of different investors. And of course, it's important to know um, the, the folks that are coming to us for uh, help in trying to buy timberland, what they're looking for, what their main goal is, and how we can help them achieve that um, depending on, on what their desires are. If it's just a, re if it's just a deer hunting track, we, we got that, we can do that. We know what that looks like and we know how to find that. And if it's a timber investment track, certainly we have the expertise to, to do that as well. And, uh, and that, that's right in our strike zone in North Florida, because as you say, the markets there are, they're, they're deeper and, um, and um, more developed. There's more mills, there's more opportunities to grow the different products that can be grown up there. So we see, a, we see a wide range of those types of investors from one extreme to the other and enjoy working with all of them. But it's important to know what they're looking for and how we can help them achieve that. Well, they expect that from, from whatever kind of professional that they're going to use in managing their land, whether it's a real estate person who understands real estate values or people like us that really understand the, the real estate value as well as, as the timber values. Exactly. And um, they expect us to be able to professionally plan their investment. I mean, we go through the opportunity to build forest management plans and then try to follow that to meet their expectations and also to be able to tailor on the forest management plan to the very best financial opportunity that is afforded to them. Well, and the, and the other thing about that is, is the forest management plan, how you're going to get there, but it's also the metrics to, to measure that and to project, well, 
what is the growth of these trees going to be like? What are the products you're going to have? And develop some kind of cash flow over time that's reliable that they can uh, count on to do their planning, their financial planning, and show where the returns are going to come from. You know, and that requires knowledge of the markets, uh, the ability to, to model timber growth and determine what products are going to be produced. Uh, you know, the mapping and GIS determine acreages and all those kind of things that come together that um, that will tell an investor what is their cash flow going to look like and what are their costs going to be, et cetera. And um, being, being consulting foresters and, and understanding that side of it, along with the real estate knowledge, is, is key to be able to help an investor in that regard as well. Well, in, in this day and age with civil culture being really tailored to modern forest management, we, we're pretty accurate in how we can make these projections. I mean, there's, there's certainly some art to, uh, to building uh, you know, a financial analysis of these tracks and, and hopefully predicting accurately what's going to happen to them. But uh, we're pretty sophisticated in, in how we do that. And um, I think always, uh, especially with larger tracks, most of these landowners have to come to professionals like us to uh, help them meet their objectives. And, and hopefully uh, uh, they haven't made a, a financial mistake in buying their timberland. And quite frankly, uh, I don't know that in my career, which is getting longer in the tooth than I wish it was, but they, uh, we've rarely had a, a, a landowner that's been unhappy with their timberland investment, uh, both from a financial aspect and also from just enjoying owning timberland. You know, one of the biggest challenges that uh, that that is out there for an investor is finding the property, finding a timberland track that is A, for sale, that could be bought, and then could be bought at a price that, uh, makes a sound investment that gives the, the return that the investor is looking for. And unlike houses and other and some commercial properties, there's not really a, an MLS you can go to and see all the timberland tracks that are for sale. They're, they're not typically listed that way. They're, uh, a pure timberland investment track isn't typically listed at all. It may be sold in a bid situation or um, uh, something like that, but it takes a lot of a lot of knowledge of the owners of the timberland to be able to find where the properties are and which ones are for sale and which would ones can be bought. There's no catalog out there of timberland tracks for sale, and that's a challenge uh, for us. And it's one that that we meet for our, our investor clients. But it's it's it is difficult. That's a reality that that we have to face. That you just can't go and, and pull out a list of timberland tracks for sale and pick and choose the ones you want to go make an offer on. So you need somebody with the knowledge and the contacts to be able to tease out those properties that might be available for sale to find those good investments. And that's that's part of what we do, uh, working in that realm and in that industry for so long, having those contacts and that knowledge of the properties that, that could be purchased. Maybe I've been at this too long, but <laughs> I think we do have that expertise, especially with our company uh, working with Saunders Real Estate. Uh, we pretty much cover the state of Florida and South Georgia, know the market, know the landowners. A lot of times being able to find properties that really are off market that uh, might meet the needs of, of our clients and hopefully uh, not overpriced. <laughs> <laughs>